In this video, I'm going to show you a brand new research tool, which is quickly growing to become one of my favorites out there. It's still free to use with some small limitations, and I think you should definitely check it out if you want to find some best-selling t-shirts on Merge by Amazon. If you click the link in the description, it will bring you to this homepage of PODCS, which is the tool I'm going to be showing you today. And to get started, just click this button right here. And then all you have to do is type in an email and a password, and you can create an account totally for free. Once you've logged into your account, you'll come to this screen right here, where you can see some release notes or updates, then a quick overview of the different research tools included with PODCS. And we can also see that Etsy features are coming soon, which is really interesting because Etsy does have a very high earning potential. So I'm looking forward to see what those research features will look like. And on the left hand side, we have the toolbar over here. And I'll probably talk about the Redbubble tool in a separate video because then there is some really cool features over here as well. Then we've got the Merge by Amazon tool, which will be the focus of this video. And then you've got some other cool features like trademark search, social media holiday calendar, and the favorites function. And for the Merge by Amazon research, the main tab we're going to use is the products research one. So if you click on that, it's going to bring up this search mask right here with lots of different filter options. And it loads up uh, by default, the currently best selling t shirts on the American Merch by Amazon or well, Merch by Amazon products. And these are ordered by BSR. So over here, we've got the lowest BSR one right now at 2700. And if we move over, it slowly goes up. So 2800, 6000, 7000, 8000, you get the gist and scrolling down, we can see the BSR slowly going up. And one thing you'll also notice is there's quite a lot of brands within these top sellers. And one way to reduce this a bit is to tick this button right here, which will then exclude some of the officially registered brands. So I think the Star Wars and Marvel t-shirts, for example, have been filtered out. But do be careful because, for example, Stranger Things is still showing up right here. Now, some of the most powerful features of this search mask are these green buttons up here, which can show you, for example, products that have increased in sales over the last month, which is a really cool feature to see recently trending shirts. So um, if we click that one and hit search, and it loads a little while. And then you can see that these t-shirts right here have recently jumped in BSR and it doesn't go down very far. However, you can actually adjust some of these features up here. So you could maybe turn down the daily sales a bit or the monthly sales growth. We can turn down the percentage a little bit. And if we hit search again, then we'll get a different array of results and also more will load underneath. We also get potential products, which shows us t-shirts that have been selling well with a good sales growth over the past six months, which is a bit more of an evergreen button. So products that aren't limited to like a short trend, but have been trending or, or selling really well over a longer time and uh, definitely quite an interesting one too. So uh, once again, we get lots of different designs here to the previous search. And you also have the option to search for high royalty products, which does often show a lot of brands though, because brands do tend to price their t-shirts really high. And then also hot selling products, basically shirts that have sold well over the past three months. Very interesting indeed, very cool buttons to sort of get different results and different ways to find new or long-term trends. Another thing I like to do to research different niches or best-selling t-shirts is to type in keywords up here at the top. So if we say, for example, summer and then hit search, it's going to load quickly and then bring up different t-shirts that have the summer keyword included that are selling extremely well right now. And just briefly scrolling down on this, we can tell that probably 80% of these t-shirts have all got to do with Christmas in July. So these are obviously best selling shirts right now in the summer niche. Let's maybe look further into this. You can hover over any of these t-shirts or the, or the designs and then click the I button for more information and it will load up an in-depth detail page which shows you the title, brand name, and different details of when the design was published. You also get the ASIN right here, then the bullet points, description, and the tags. So this is really handy because it shows us the most common or well, most used tags within this listing. So the first one right here, Christmas, has been used the most. And if you wanted to copy some of these for your own listings, you can just tick individual ones that you feel are very important. So let's say we tick a few 
of these and then you can click copy down here to copy the selected ones or if you'd rather just copy them all in one go click this button over here same goes obviously for long tail keywords which are just multiple words in one keyword you can also select these um, individually or copy them all in one go and if we scroll down a little bit further we can see the BSR history in relation to the price and if you drag out this little bar right here you can extend the time frame so as we can see blue line indicates the BSR which was really really high so in the three millions and we're at the start of 2022 right now and then it saw a massive jump it's going into the 500,000s right here in the middle of June the price basically stayed the same except for this one day right here where it went down to 14.99 and then recently the BDSR has just been dropping and dropping down to the hundred thousands and lower so that's a really cool graph to sort of analyze sales history and find out at which times different t-shirts are trending and if we scroll down a bit further we can also see related or similar designs right here which are really handy for inspiration and also just to get an idea of what different designs look like within this niche if you click open and search it brings up the overall arching niche Christmas in and you get some more results that way you can also use these buttons over here if you hover over the design again to either download the design which is quite handy if you want to use this for inspiration and you your own designs you can open it up in Adobe Illustrator for example and use the, the color scheme if you wanted to or you could also hit open in Amazon to bring up the actual listing and then do a quick trademark check with the Merch Informer trademark check browser extension and then you can basically be pre-warned of any existing trademarks that might be included in this listing or in this design or you could also hit favorites right here which will then add your design or the one you just favorited to the list over here so if you go to favorites in the sidebar and click merge for Amazon products this t-shirt has now been saved in here uh, so that you don't have to go back to the research tool every time to find the shirts that you wanted to sell you can just save your favorites in here very cool tool to find trends or well-selling bestsellers on merge for Amazon in many different ways and you also get the option to look at different marketplaces so if you wanted to sell shirts in Germany just select that up here hit search and you'll get the German bestsellers at the current moment you also have a few other features right here for the merge for Amazon research the one that I quite like is deleted products we do know that Amazon likes to delete stuff so if you want to get an idea of what might not be allowed to be sold and do look through this it tells you when the designs were removed as well and it's hard to tell why they were so not necessarily all of these have trademarks in the design maybe some just have trademarks in the actual listing data or maybe they were reported for copyright infringement so one person copied another person's design and then Amazon took them down it's hard to know why these were removed but it's still handy to look through to get an idea of what might not be allowed you can also actually click into the details of any of these designs which will then once again bring up the different listing data so you could take a look at which keywords might have been trademarked in this removed design moving on from that we've got the keyword analysis tool which is quite handy to for example research the search volume of different keywords so if I type in summer t-shirt right here and hit search it's going to show you different keywords in relation to a seed keyword and then also the um, related search volume how many times it's searched for over the past month you get different data points right here to get a better idea of what keywords you might want to use in your listings it also shows a trend indicator of which ones are recently more searched for in comparison to the months before you have a reverse ASIN lookup if you use one of these examples and hit search you can basically investigate the keywords within any listing if you just take the ASIN which can be found in just the Amazon page you basically get the different keywords included in these listings and where the main traffic comes from so this way you can sort of evaluate how um, important different keywords are to the t-shirt being found and if you were running ads then uh, you'd probably want to use those high traffic keywords within your targeted ads so very cool tool to sort of analyze different keywords which ones you might want to use and which ones are not as important and last but not least we've got a sales estimation which is a very nice 
detailed graph, I just click on one of the examples again of um, not just the BSR, but also estimated sales. So this is a Top Gun t-shirt. And once again, you get sort of a time graph down here that you can draw out. And it's a very, very cool detailed description. You can hover over different days and it will give you the exact BSR on that day with an estimate of the sales. So this t-shirt with an 8,800 BSR had an estimated 77 units sold in that day at a $21.99 price point. So it's quite interesting to get sort of an idea of, um, well, BSR in relation to sales. And the yellow line is the daily sales. So as we can see early in the year before the film was released, the um, estimated daily sales were quite low in comparison to the recent month. And over here, you also get an estimation for the actual revenue, not profit, but revenue that the shirt brought in on sort of a monthly basis, which is really interesting to look at and just hover over the individual yellow numbers and it will jump to that time frame on the graph down here. So you could do the same probably for your own shirts if you have the BSR or for some other top sellers you want to investigate which time of the year they're selling best. And lastly I'm just quickly going to show you the social media holidays tab which is really cool to get a bit of a head start at upcoming international sort of holidays. If we filter by different months right here we could look at August for example and then you get uh, well the day itself and then different holidays that are happening on that specific date categories tags and also links right here if you wanted to research on different platforms or on Amazon I think the, the uh, magnifying glass brings up Amazon search results and yeah for example August 3rd we've got National Black Women's Equal Pay Day and National Grab Some Nuts Day <laughs> Regatta Day and yeah basically just scroll through this you might find some uh, cool little niches um, that you could design for ahead of time cycle to work day so on this one there might be an increase of cycling t-shirt selling just as an idea National Disc Golf Day we know disc golf is a um, very well selling niche during summer at the moment so that's an interesting one for August 6th and you get the gist to scroll through this look for some new niche ideas these sort of specific on the day national holidays often have a bit less competition for that specific search term so they're interesting niches to enter so there you go, that's my quick overview of PODCS. And it's really amazing how much you can do with the free version. I was showing you the pro one right there, but the free version still has almost everything available to you that I showed you in the video with some small limitations. And most of the other research tools out there don't give you this much for free. So definitely take advantage of it. While this tool is still new, I don't know if it'll change in the future, but at the moment you can nearly do everything for free, which is crazy. And if you want to learn about some more ways Ways of how to find trends then I'd suggest you watch this video next where I show you three different free ways of how to find trending t-shirt niches.